Hey, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Heinchel. Hope you're all having a great day today. Got yet another gold camo slash diamond camo guide here for you guys today, which today we are going to be covering the marksman rifles. There's only three of them in Call of Duty Vanguard. I'm going to have one more gold guide such as this coming out probably next week. It's going to be for the assault rifles. That's the last weapon category that I have to do. And then after that, I will have atomic camo. Uh, as well, I'm still waiting on Sledgehammer to finally fix the Panzerfaust, and then I'm going to be making a separate video on that. And then probably throughout the year, I'm going to be making separate ca uh, camo guides for DLC weapons if you guys are interested in that. So, yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and get straight into it. So, a few things to mention before we get into the challenges. As always, timestamps are down below, so if you guys came here for a specific weapon or challenge, you can skip ahead to that portion of the video. As always, I recommend playing Shiphouse 24-7 if it's available, or any kind of small map playlist similar to that otherwise if there is no playlist play domination or hard point with the blitz combat pacing that way there's as many players on the map as possible therefore you have more opportunities to get kills therefore you will be getting these challenges done even faster and also for the marksman rifles i personally recommend playing hardcore i feel it's a lot easier and it was definitely a lot easier on me rather than going into core because all three of the marksman rifles are going to be a one-shot kill in hardcore pretty much all the time almost anywhere on the body so Hardcore, in my opinion, uh, is definitely the better way to go. You can still be pretty efficient in core, but I, I would personally give hardcore a try. Make sure you're stacking challenges whenever possible. For example, headshots and long shots. You know, some weapons have an additional long shot challenge at the end or an additional headshot challenge at the end. Make sure you're stacking those whenever you possibly can. And with all that out of the way, let's not waste any more time. Let's get straight into the challenges. So the first challenge is very standard. It is to get 300 eliminations. As always, I say this every video, but this challenge is going to be completed naturally and mathematically just as you're leveling up the weapon, so there's no need to worry and there's really not much to say about this one. The next challenge is going to be to get 100 headshots. Once again, pretty standard challenge. You've had to do this for pretty much every weapon. If you really are struggling, aim higher, aim for the head. It's going to be a one shot to the head in hardcore because as I said earlier, hardcore, all these weapons are going to be one shot kills. One shot to the head's all you need and they're very easy to get, especially later on when you're going for your long shots as you're just going to most likely be sitting in one spot and looking into one spot. The only marksman rifle that has an additional headshot challenge towards the end is the SVT. You'll have to get another 100 headshots uh, on one of the last three challenges for that weapon. So with the SVT... Don't even worry about going for headshots, just wait until you unlock it later on and then you can start actively trying to get headshots, so that way you're stacking them. The next challenge is to get 50 multi kills, and for whatever reason, I don't know if it's always been like this, but for the G43 I noticed it was 100 multi kills instead of 50. Has it always been like that? I don't think so, I've, n I've never seen anyone else mention this, but either way it's still very easy to do and you'll still probably get this one done even you know you'll still probably get a hundred of them done even before you max out the weapon especially if you're playing small maps such as DOS house shipment or dome which is one of the things I was gonna tell you guys to do you play on small maps like these this is why I play this is why I say play ship house 24 7 because if you play these small maps the multi hills are gonna come to you very naturally and very easily you don't have to get a triple or a quad or anything you only have to get a double kill which is very easy to do and you have plenty of time in between kills so these should come pretty easily to you the next one is to get 30 bloodthirsties which is a five kill streak so as always slow down your gameplay play slow play safe prioritize your life prioritize staying alive hold down an objective or a busy part of the map and just camp just do whatever you have to do to get these bloodthirsties and if you do find yourself having trouble with the marksman rifles Personally, I think they're pretty easy. I was able to get mine done with no problem, but I understand not everyone's the same. So if you're not good with marksman rifles, one thing I recommend doing is to use the perk overkill on your class. Use either an AR or an SMG along with the marksman rifle that you're using. It could be any AR or SMG. Just use whatever gun you're comfortable with, whatever gun that you're good with. Get four kills with the other weapon and then swap to your marksman rifle that you're working on and then get the fifth kill for the bloodthirsty not all five kills have to come from the same weapon for the bloodthirsty only the fifth one does so yeah get four kills with whatever, whatever weapon you want swap over to your weapon your marksman rifle that you're using and get the fifth kill that's very important you have to make sure you get the fifth kill for the bloodthirsty metal to pop up for it to count the next challenge is going to be to get 100 long shots for these you can do these on almost any map except for shipment das house 
Unfortunately, the spot where you use the deployable cover behind the tires by the A flag has been patched. However, you can still use the middle lane. The middle lane is still pretty good for getting long shots quick if you want to do that way. But as I said, you can do these on really any map, so just go into Hardcore Dom or Hardpoint if there is no uh, DOS House 24-7 Hardcore mode or whatever. And you should be able to get these easily. Some really good maps for long shots I suggest are Demyansk, Hotel, uh, Eagle's Nest, and there's this one spot right here that you're seeing in the gameplay right now on Paradise where you can literally watch the enemy spawn. It's pretty overpowered. I don't know if they're going to end up patching this or not. Um, I'll show you guys how to get here. It's really not that hard. But yeah, um, if this spot is still, you know, uh, accessible at the time you're trying to get your long shots, definitely take advantage of it because it's. I got like 40 in one game from doing this spot. The M1 Garand is the only marksman rifle that has an additional long shot challenge at the end. So when it comes to the M1, don't even worry about going for long shots until you get the last three categories unlocked and then start going for them actively. The next challenge is to get 100 close range kills. As always, for these, play small maps like DOS House, Shipment, or Dome, or Radar, or any small map like that, and these are going to come to you very easily. They do not have to be point blank, they just have to be close range, which is very lenient, very easy to do. The next category is to get 50 kills after recently aiming down sights. I believe these used to be called quickscope kills, but yeah, that's basically all it is. So for this, just use as many ADS speed attachments as you possibly can on your weapon. That way these will be a little bit more easy for you. And you pretty much have to get a kill within like 1-2 to two seconds after aiming down sights. So it's only 50 of them, it's not that bad. Um, that's really all I can say for this one. Just kind of, you know, load up your loadout with ADS speed attachments. And just go at it. These I got these done pretty easily on both DOS House and Shipment, just like all the other challenges, so not really much I can say with this one. Alright, so now we're moving on to the last three camo categories, which are Survivalist, Mind Games, and Death Artist. So for these, I'm just going to go over each weapon very briefly. The challenges that you have to do with them are very easy and very straightforward, so I'm not going to spend too much time explaining them. I will, however, show you guys on screen some text showing you uh, what the challenge is for each category along with the three attachments that you will need to be using for that challenge. So, starting off with the M1 Garand, for survivalist you will need to get 100 ADS or aiming down sights kills. For mind games, you will have to get 100 kills while crouched or prone. And for death artists, you will need to get, like I said earlier, another 100 long shots. So, make sure you're stacking those uh, as much as possible. Moving on to the SVT for survivalist, you will need to get another 100 headshots. So, as I said earlier, wait until you get to this point of your weapon leveling until you get this challenge unlocked and these attachments. Put them on and then you can start actively going for headshots. That's the most efficient way to do it. For mind games, you will need to get 100 kills without taking damage from that enemy that you kill. And for death artists, you will also need to do the uh, do the same thing. Another 100 kills without taking damage from the enemy that you kill just with a different set of attachments. And finally for the marksman rifles moving on to the G43 for survivalist 100 ADS kills for mind games 100 kills without taking damage from the enemy that you kill and for death artist another 100 ADS kills just with a different set of attachments. So yeah that's pretty much all there is when it comes to the marksman rifles as you can, as you can see pretty easy to do there's only three of them so they go by pretty quick and once you get all the challenges done for all three of these, you will have finally unlocked Diamond for your Marksman Rifles. Congratulations. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. If you guys have any trouble with any of these challenges that I just previously discussed, let me know down in the comments and I will try to get back with you and help you out as much as I possibly can. If you did enjoy the video or it helped you out in any way, consider leaving a like or leave a dislike if you didn't. There's really no hard feelings. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more guides such as this in the future. And with that, I will see you guys on the next one. Peace out everyone.